you know, I got to say, too, the, the person who's not here who deserves a lot of credit for that line of thinking, for me at least, is Spike Lee. And I have to say, when it comes to being unapologetically black, Spike Lee was the first filmmaker who was just consistently that. It was like, I don't care if anyone else in the audience understands what I'm talking about. I'm going to speak in a way so that the people in the audience who look like me know that someone like them made this film. That was incredibly empowering for me as a young man and my teenage. I, I can't like, I cannot stress enough. And let me just, and let me just tell you this. One of the things that people need to know, um, because having a conversation with Regina and, and, and talking about the importance of this film, it struck me about some of the things cause we, we had a similar conversation about Spike. And one of the things that I, I always tell people about Spike, a lot of people don't realize is that, you know, he fought for everybody behind the camera, yeah. you know, with the drivers, man. You know, I remember there wasn't a black foreman, you know, amongst that union. And he had been using these union guys for a bunch of his films. So Spike himself went up to the union and said, listen, man, if you guys don't get an African-American foreman, I'm going to go non-union. And that is a huge thing for a person in his position. Oh, my God. You're talking to a former journalist. Spike was the first one who would demand that black journalists interview him for magazine articles. So do you know how many writers I know who there were black writers or we were on the ghetto beat? And the only reason we even got into the front page on a lot of publications is because Spike was the person who demanded it. It really opened my eyes to the power an artist can have.